Hey, what's going on YouTube? Bgram44 back here again today with another banger. Listen, today we have the meta right now, Rebirth Island and full-fledged Warzone Warzone ranked. It does not matter if you are trying to be competitive in COD right now. You want to be the best, you want to get kills, you want to do good, not get melted. This is the loadout you need. Uh, the SOA subverter with the HRM9. Uh, let's go ahead and break down the subverter. We got the Casus Break L. Uh, Dozer 9 Long Barrel, the Jack Glossless Optic, I don't know why I said it like that, but we got the Glossless Optic, you heard me, uh, 50 round drum with the Bruin Heavy Support Grip, on a, the HRM we're going to have the Zen Compensator, the DR6 Hand Stop, uh, High Grain Rounds, 50 round doink with the Folding Stock, let's go over to the Firing Range and break down the recoil patterns for both these guns, and so we have an idea of what we're doing when we're actually in a match. Uh, we can control uh, recoil everything like that here we go we're gonna aim at the bottom we're not gonna touch the joystick and we're gonna let it rip all right so recoil most guns we talk about ars long range metas do not go over the board i mean this was a full board all the way up we have a slight curve here in the middle nothing too outrageous it's pretty vertical we don't really have too much horizontal recoil um, bullets aren't quite touching, just about most metals we talk about are touching, but this gun really and truly is a laser beam. So if we're looking at this pattern right here, obviously we want to do opposite. Uh, so, you know, slightly down to the right, off the start, down to the left, down to the right, it's the same thing. Uh, so we're going to kind of be shifty with our player here. Again, that's just about as tight as we're going to get with really any meta right now. Um, considering this thing just has one little curve to get over and you can see it when it happens. Uh, we really don't have a problem uh, with this gun. Now, again, we can kind of just do our strafe thing like this. It stays pretty tight. Obviously, it's going to be a little more left to right than one big circle. Uh, but we translate that to rotational aim assist and we get an outcome where we have this super grippy aim and we are absolutely melting. Let's go ahead and slap three plates on the dummy so we get an idea of real TTKs with this gun. Unbelievable, man. I like running the glassless optic. You can run the Corio Eagle Eye 2.5 if you'd like, uh, but it does have a little bit of hop. It does. It's That's why it's kind of nice to run this uh, glassless optic. Now, we aren't strafing left or right. Right now, we're just kind of standing still. We're getting these pure kills. Um, throw a little bit of rotational aim assist into the mix and we should have a little bit more of a grippy aim uh, when we shoot so obviously we're going to go through we're going to kind of strafe a little bit as we're shooting um, and that's going to help give us a little bit more of a grip per se again though the biggest problem we have with this gun is going to be that hump here's the second pattern just to give you that perspective that little curve right there man that's a doozy for sure Not standing still, so really focus down left. You can always strafe the opposite direction, kind of compensate uh, when the curve hits on the opposite side. But we should be just fine with that. Uh, moving forward, we're going to go ahead and break down the HRM9. Uh, we're going to aim at the bottom and let it rip. All right, we got three quarters up the board. Um, this thing really balances itself out from midway after the curve. It's funny, the recoil patterns on both of these guns are very similar. So if you use the HRM9, uh, your recoil pattern is virtually going to be the same when it comes to uh, the subverter. Let's go ahead and put these side by side so you can get an idea of what these guns are going to feel like together. It's pretty funny how accurate that is. It has the same curve going up at the front. It breaks at the same exact point and then bends back over at the same point so if you use the hrm9 this is legitimately the same recoil pattern you're going to see uh, with the subverter obviously we just kind of want to do that opposite it has a little bit of bounce to it but up close you won't notice um the recoil like you will with the subverter maybe at range and this thing kills so fast i mean it's unbelievable the hip fire is not horrible with this gun um it's not the greatest of all time but it's top tier viable I always talk about though, like when, especially on rebirth, you know, you get into a confrontation, uh, you slide in, you always want to hit fire first, try to land a couple shots. You know, you might get lucky, hit the headshot, who knows, but you always want to hit the hit fire first. 
um, and th that's a perfect example of it. Um, as for our SOA subverter, it's probably one of my favorite metals we've had in a very long time. Uh, I like the feel of the gun. I like the TTK. Kind of makes me think of the Amax a little bit. Um, I know there's like quite a few guns this year people have kind of compared to the Amax. But it's a gun that anybody can use it, anybody can shred. But when it comes to lasering at distance and being really proficient with it, there's going to be a skill gap. Obviously, you keep seeing on the far target, I'm missing my shots off to the left um, when I'm standing still. Um, haven't really used the gun enough to say to just have it absolutely mastered. I probably need to do some more recoil patterns myself. i work on this spread. But this is it, gang. If you want to be the best, you got to be using this right here. This is going to be the class you want to use. If you're new to the channel, enjoy the content. Hit that sub button, man. Crush that like button, and I'll catch you all tomorrow for another heater. Let's get a game.